full on frozen bud. It's rock solid. Oh, yeah. Wow. Now you've got this big ice cube of weed. What do you do with that? Now we take it. Literally, oh, wow. it'll go right into the liquid nitrogen. <laughs> and you see how it's already starting to come apart into its own individual pieces. Here's the Super trip. frozen buds. Oh, wow. It's powered. So I'm going to meet up with Chris Barone, who makes the clear concentrate. Now, this stuff is some of the most celebrated cannabis extract around. And I want to see how it's made, and I want to bring some to dinner for the guests to try. So this is our flagship product, the clear, which is a, a distillate product, and a fully activated, purified, and refined cannabis oil. Very high in activated THC. We've removed the terpenes, we've removed the off flavors, we removed the tars. This is a product that's ready to go into a topical, an edible, can be vaporized, can be flavored. This could go directly into a shrimp scampi if you wanted it. This will have a retail value of about 50,000 American dollars. I mean, this is some pretty scientific do you have a chemistry background? So I do, yeah. I have a degree in chemistry. I graduated in 2009. I'm guessing you used cannabis back then, too. D did you ever imagine that the two things would cross over? I didn't, but an 18-year-old me would be very stoked at with what I'm doing. I feel the same day, way, you know? yeah. I literally smoke weed and watch TV for a living, you know? So I'm vindicated for a lifetime Cheers. of habits that people told me were bad, you know? Yeah. But whatever, <laughs> them. Exactly. What do you do with the uh, liquid nitrogen? We would take the bud and I would actually add it into the liquid nitrogen. Usually when people make bubble hash, they use ice and water, they mix it around in the weed and then all those resins separate, but this is much, much more advanced, right? Yeah, the fluid dynamics is the same as the water, only we're not dissolving any of the terpenes or anything else in it. If I stuck my hand in there, it'd just freeze and die off, right? No. no. <laughs> Cold. It's cold. You leave it in there for like 10 seconds and you won't have any fingertips left. All right, so can we freeze some weed? Yeah. <laughs> this is full on frozen bud. It's rock solid. Oh, yeah. Wow. Now you've got this big ice cube of weed. What do you do with that? Now we take it. Literally, oh, wow. it'll go right into the liquid nitrogen. <laughs> You see how it's already starting to come apart into its own individual pieces? Here's the Super trip. frozen butts. Oh, wow. It's powdered. Can I crush one of those? Yeah, you'll you'll want to go quick when you do it, because they do get cold fast. See the trichrome heads float away outside of it? Yeah, it's crazy. So these are unpressed <laughs> trichrome heads. Yeah. So when you say heads, what are you referring to? So you got a trichrome that looks like a big ball sitting on top of a shaft. You only want the top. Because it's got the biggest volume to surface area, you can kind of consider the inside of it as this big pouch of good, delicious resin. So if we press them under high pressure, and the essential oils are exuded out, and that's the end product that we have. Oh, man, that's a hash ball. That is crazy. So basically, just with heat and pressure, you can squeeze out all that resin, and you don't have to use, like, chemical solvents or anything like that. Oh! What do you think Chris is going to think of this stuff, right? I mean, I, it's, it's crazy aromatic. I think it'll, it'll be great. It's gorgeous.